in what, in what, and in terms of the durability of the body, the Swedes have something to teach their distant saw platform relatives. The aluminum hood, consider, is eternal, and high-quality double-sided electroplating on all other elements, even for specimens that have lived in our conditions for 12 years, gives a chance of corrosion, except perhaps after a careless body repair. The paint is in no hurry to become cloudy from sinks and wipe, like the Mazda 3, or peel off, like the Focus. It is not surprising that the specialists of the Aptum Mama online auction, who have been helping us for several months in finding cars for the second hands section, easily found a 10-year-old car with a mileage of more than 200,000 kilometers and a body untouched by rust. Here is a generous electrofilling of the body from dampness and time gets fairly. The buttons on the floating console, 700 euros at the rate of 68 rubles for 1 euro, after 10 to 12 years, one by one, may stop responding to pressing. Fortunately, resuscitation usually comes down to elementary cleaning of contacts. If the buttons are beyond suspicion, and the climate control still fools around on more recent copies, not supplying air to where they are asked, look for the guilty among the damper servos, most often the rods unfastened in the mechanism. Plastic and leather in the interior trim are of high quality and long-lasting, and crickets start up only after 7 to 10 years. But Tidez textile upholstery is not so durable it may crack or tear earlier. It happens that the immobilizer stops recognizing the key, and the ignition lock itself, 170 euros, can wear out after 7 or 8 years, not each time agreeing to turn on the star. The power windows start to twitch, 150 to 180 euros, the electric drives of the seats are junk, the fuel gauge is twitching. Inside the doors, the not best protected power window control unit surrenders to dampness and the electromechanical lock modules, 260 euros each, go into failure. Cars older than 2007 are especially guilty of this. And the easily clogged drainage of the sunroof threatens not only with spoiled upholstery of the ceiling and pillars, water can do trouble with the contacts of the central electronic control unit CEM, central electronic module, hidden in the bowels of the front panel. The glasses of fog lamps made of fragile plastic become very cloudy and crack easily. The vulnerability of the CEM unit is a proprietary sword that haunts many Volvo models. CEM troubles, one answer, if any of the electrical systems starts to junk, be it the instrument panel, headlights or interior lighting, immediately inspect the condition of the board, you may have time to save it by cleaning and sealing. The procrastination of death is similar especially in the case of copies older than 2005, the car will go completely blackout. And for a new CEM block, you will have to pay about 800 to 1,000 euros. The front door seals at the middle pillars are unsuccessful. They are easily torn, only slightly frozen. The wires going to the trunk lock of sedans and the corrugation are closed due to destroyed insulation or are completely broken. Along with generic ailments, Volvo also acquired Ford once due to the fact that the unsuccessfully routed wiring harness for the electric lock, 50 euros, breaks or closes, after 4 or 5 years, the trunk of the S40 sedans may stop opening. After 80 to 100,000 kilometers in the depths of the gas tank, the Bosch gas pump is able to go on strike. To replace the tank, you will have to remove it, and the original pump will cost 320 euros, or 220 to 250 euros for analogs, but the savvy owners have adapted to fit a cheap assembly from VAZ front-wheel drive. And after 6 to 8 years, a frozen fan, 380 euros complete with the frame, of the radiator of the cooling system can bring to overheating, the electronic control unit is attached directly to it and suffers from dampness and salt. But what about the motors themselves? The base 1.6-liter B-Series 4164 S3 engine with the timing belt, aka Duratec 1.6, was developed with the help of Yamaha back in 1998 for the first generation Focus. And the Swedes got it in its simplest, and hence the most reliable, incarnation without phase shifters. A popular unit, a quarter of all cars in the secondary market, is dirty, except for trifles like failures of ignition modules, 100 euros branded or 50 to 60 euros analogs, or sensors, 70 to 100 euros each, and gaps in the valve mechanism after 100 to 120,000 kilometers have to be adjusted manually. But if you do not squeeze all the juices out of the unit, which is frankly weak for a weighty Volvo, it is able to hold out until the wear of the piston group of 250 to 300,000 kilometers. Ford's 1.6 timing belt motor is simple and reliable, but weak for a Volvo. 1.8 chain motors, pictured, 
and 2.0 are similar in design. Both after 120 to 160,000 kilometers require adjustment of the clearances in the valve mechanism by selecting the thickness of the pushers. Gasoline engines with a volume of 1.8 and 2.0 liters, 14% and 17% of cars, respectively, of a different breed. Both Mazda engines of the MZR family are identical in design with a timing chain that can withstand up to 200 to 220,000 kilometers. In terms of resource, they are better. They take care of 300 to 350,000 before overhaul, but they often bring more minor troubles along the way. The bearings of the belt rollers of the mounted units are flimsy. They do not always reach up to 60 to 80,000 kilometers. And closer to the anniversary 100,000, you need to look at the coolant temperature gauge more often, the thermostat, 35 euros, often retires, and underheating and overheating happen with the same probability. If the engine begins to dance at idle, twitch when driving in tension or start poorly, these are questions for the coils, original ones for 55 euros and analogs for 15 to 20 euros, and ignition wires. However, the nervous trembling of any of the Volvo engines after 80 to 120,000 kilometers often has another reason tired right hydraulic support of the power unit, 100 euros. In order to inspect the liquid in the tank, shown by the arrow, of the EGUR pump, you need to remove the right headlight. Fortunately, this is done instantly and without tools, just pull out this latch, photo on the right. And the throttle valve block, 250 euros, is powerless in front of pollution, immediately behind it is the tube of the exhaust gas recirculation system, which regularly supplies the unit with soot. Without regular cleaning, every 30 to 50,000 kilometers, the engine speed begins to float, and in especially neglected cases, the throttle may also wedge. After 300 RPM, traction began to disappear and the check engine light flashes. Get ready to replace the intake manifold flap control valve, 80 euros. And do not forget to look into candle wells. If after 80 to 100,000 kilometers oil is found in them, you need to tighten the weakened valve cover but it will not help, replace the gasket, 30 euros. The thin-walled fuel filter for gasoline versions is in vain attached near the right rear wheel, with intense exposure to salt, corrosion eats through it in a couple of years. Own Swedish Motors 2.4 Series B5244 are not in vain the most popular, 39% of cars. The units are quite gluttonous, the consumption in the city that we got to get acquainted with did not fall below 12 to 13 L slash 100 kilometers but they pull under the odd chirp perfectly and live long. The design is rooted in the 90s, and the margin of safety can be envied. The 400 to 450,000 kilometers that are now available to few are not the limit for them. There is no need to be afraid of the few turbo versions. 2% of cars the 2.5 V5254 T3 engine is rented out even earlier, after 300 to 350,000 kilometers, but turbochargers, 1,000 euros, usually live up to this period. To replace the spark plugs on the 2.4 engine, the intake manifold must be removed. The vacuum pump, shown by the red arrow, often suffers from control valve failure, blue arrow. And the five-cylinder units transversely located under the hood are exotic not only in their design, but also in surprises. When you first meet, do not forget to bow, a large motor has a vulnerable pan, 350 euros, which is easy to break through in harmless situations, on Ford Mazda engines. By the way, it is steel, not aluminum. And if an artistic whistle suddenly starts coming from under the hood, do not panic, you are not having an attack of hallucinations. Does a slightly unscrewed oil filler cap or a pulled dipstick restore silence? This means that the hole in the right side whistles the oil separator of the crankcase ventilation system, which has a leaky rubber membrane. As a rule, this happens in the interval of 70 to 100,000 kilometers. Officially, the knot, 150 euros, changes entirely, but the craftsman got used to updating the penny membrane. And remember that for 2.5 turbo engines, a network of thin tubes adds trouble with the crankcase ventilation system, they clog with the bang. This engine control unit, located directly on the radiator fan, has almost surrendered to corrosion. The problematic oil separator is combined into one unit with an oil filter. In five or six years, the vacuum pump, 350 euros, may also start to sing along to the engine compartment choir if, instead of short-term operation, it stops turning off due to the fault of the control valve, 100 euros complete with nozzles, and starts to overheat. Or here are the couplings, 250 euros, 
of the phase shifters, one for the 2.4 engine and two for the 2.5 turbo unit. They often start to leak after 70 to 90,000 kilometers. Trifles, of course, something worldly, but the oil goes straight to the timing belt. So if there is no desire to change the cylinder head with bent valves, of which there are 20, do not ignore traces of oil on the belt casing. And do not forget, the drive belts of mounted units also lead to the same catastrophic consequences, they like to delaminate, often this is facilitated by wedging rollers or an overrunning generator clutch, and climb under the arm of the timing drive. The only way to be safe is to change the belts at every scheduled maintenance after 15,000 kilometers. Similar streaks on the timing belt cover of five-cylinder engines indicate that the toothed belt behind it is already thoroughly oiled. Diesels? Alas, this is exotic for us, because they were not officially sold. And on the X-Dash, Europeans, there are the most chances, 2% of cars, to meet the base engine 1.6 of the D416 series, which is rather weak for Volvo, like the 2.0-liter, 4s, D4204. Quite successful PSA Peugeot Citroën units are hidden behind the Swedish indices. Own, of course, five-cylinder, unit D5244T is notable for the fact that this is the first diesel engine independently developed by Volvo. It debuted in 2001 on the S80 sedan. The motor is sensitive to diet and cleanliness. Every 40 to 50,000 kilometers it asks to clean the swirl flap unit and the crankcase ventilation system. After 100,000 kilometers, the exhaust gas recirculation EGR, system, and the particulate filter quickly clogs from urban life, after 60 to 100. But the biggest stain on the reputation is the flimsy electric drive of the boost pressure regulator, 150 euros. S40 sedans and B50 station wagons after restyling in 2007 are most easily distinguished by the changed front lining. Behind, a different pattern of lanterns. The native, Swedish petrol and diesel engines are also good because only with them until 2008 it was possible to get a Volvo with an automatic transmission. The Eisenwarner AW55-51 SN5 speeder of the 2000 model spoiled a lot of nerve cells for the owners of the Volvo XC90 and Volvo S60. But for the Volvo S40, V50, C30 and C70 family, it arrived exactly in its modernized form, it was finalized in 2004 with a more reliable valve body. And with a respectful attitude on lighter relatives, it behaves approximately, without whims, withstanding 200 to 250,000 kilometers. And then the matter is often limited to simply replacing worn oil seals, bushings, friction clutches, and solenoids. Equally durable and added in 2010 is the more recent six-speed Eisenwarner TF-80 SD model of 2003, which has also just undergone a hydraulic upgrade and so that there are no shocks when switching after 80 to 100,000 kilometers, both boxes must change the oil at least every 60 to 80,000 kilometers, although this is not officially required Japanese automation is extremely sensitive to the purity of the working fluid. But the six-speed pre-selective MPS6 with wet clutches, aka the Ford Get Rag 6 DCT450, is not so accommodating. This robot appeared on the Volvo S40 and V50 after restyling in 2007, Paired with the 2.0 gasoline engine. At first, the electronic control units of the box were buggy and changed under warranty. And although the oil and filter need to be changed after 45,000 kilometers, even during this time the wear products of the friction clutches sometimes manage to clog the valves of the valve body and solenoids, which leads to twitching and accelerates the wear of the unit to a run of 100 to 150,000 kilometers. The same picture is with the usual mechanics. The M65 and M66 boxes with the Swedish 5s, they are also made by Get Rack, are exceptionally reliable. You should not just pull with the replacement of a worn clutch after 130 to 160,000 kilometers. The dual mass flywheel of the engine is expensive. But the Ford 1.6 engine is paired with the French IB5 box from Bordeaux Transmission, an ancient and not very successful 5 speed mechanics from Fiesta. Leakage of drive oil seals sometimes after 50 to 70,000 kilometers is not so bad. Besides, in 2011, the seals were finalized, and they began to last twice as long. Worse, the axle of the satellites in the differential may not withstand the increased load, with all the ensuing consequences, both in the form of oil from a hole in the crankcase, and finances in the amount of 1,000 to 1,500 euros. The same amount can be lost if, after 100 to 120,000 kilometers, the howl of the input shaft bearing is ignored, it can jam. 
the German 5-speed MTX-75 of the Cologne company GFT with Mazda engines 1.8 and 2.0 is better. Although she also needs to look after the condition of the oil seals, more often than others, Whitwork suits the seal of the gear shift rod even a minimal shortage of gear oil immediately affects the shafts and gear teeth. And after 50 to 60,000 kilometers, removing the box may require a release bearing combined with the clutch slave cylinder, 65 euros. In suspension, no revelations. In the sense that its mileage is exactly the same as that of the Mazda with the Focus, not a failure, but not outstanding either. And spare parts, as a rule, are more expensive. What are, for example, rear shock absorbers with the Nivimat automatic body leveling system? They go, like ordinary ones, 80 to 100,000 kilometers, but you need to pay as much as 400 euros for each. It is no wonder that many Volvo drivers prefer to buy simple shock absorbers for 100 euros, or even 40 to 60 euros for eminent analogs, as a replacement. Front shock absorbers will cost 100 or 60 to 80 euros, respectively. The front suspension is weak with silent blocks of levers. In the photo, already fallen into disrepair. After 50 to 70,000 kilometers in the McPherson front suspension, not only stabilizer struts are often surrendered, 30 euros for branded and 15 to 20 for analogs, but also the bottleneck of the P1 platform is weak wheel bearings. You have to change the entire hub for 200 euros, so many people try to save money by using the donor note of co-platformers, it is almost three times cheaper, 60 euros. Do not forget that the bearing is not well protected from dirt, and forcing deep puddles will shorten its life even more. There are no weak points in the rear multi-link. Only a little longer. 60 to 80,000 kilometers, the front levers often also hold on, silent blocks are brought in, each lever, together with the ball joint, will cost 150 euros. The rear multi-link is more robust, it is rarely required to shake it up before 120 to 140,000 kilometers. But a complete revision will cost at least 600 euros, almost all silent blocks change only with levers. Therefore, in this case, many craftsmen are trying to save money by repressing third-party silent blocks at their own peril and risk. Tie rods, original 55 euros each and analogs 10 to 20 each, and tips, 65 euros each and 15 to 25 each respectively, are able to last an impressive 150,000 kilometers, however, or versions with gasoline 1.6, which have a conventional hydraulic booster, along with them on the rack and pinion steering mechanism itself. 1,000 euros, can go to the dump, but this time you can save on a similar Ford node for 630 euros. The remaining versions with EGUR have a bottleneck, a pump, 650 euros in 5 to 7 years, an electric motor may fail, and the unit will immediately express dissatisfaction with the quality or amount of liquid by the howl of the bearing lubricated by it.